Don was like, Donnelly? She's like, garbage? Like, okay. I'm in Donnelly. It's a dog. I'm in Okay. Good morning. This morning we're working on a self-organizing learning environment, a la Sugata Mitra. Students are working in groups of four or more, looks like. Uh, they have a catalyst question, which is how could a poem have changed history? I don't know the answer to that question, so the students are working on their own. They'll have uh, this period and next period to figure this out, and then they'll make presentations to the Language Summit, which is our class, on Friday. They've got some parameters they need to stick with. A little loud right now. A little larger than the small group volume. Hi. I like how the students are so the That is Bottom not level two volume. No, Alex, you do it wrong. Okay, it has been about 15 minutes since they were given the catalyst question. <laughs> These students are researching, looks like a ancient poem written, when was the poem written? It was written in the first century BC. In the first century BC, and you're reading, it looks like the New York Times? Right about 1417? These students are looking at, what's this, William Blake? Hi. Right, and what else do we got here? I'm feeling accomplished because when you write notes like this, it looks like there's more than there actually is. <laughs> Studying the Declaration of Independence, very interesting. Yes. Looking at the word backbiting. Um, who was it? Titus Crisis Carnival. 30 minutes in to the research. What are you guys researching? How are we doing? We're trying to decide which one we're doing. Which one? Which question? Imagine too cliche. Yes. Maybe you should uh, Google that. Google is your friend. Google is your friend. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. There's like, there's, there's a website for like school that, for Google school. Make sure you don't use it. I can't. Okay, so now, what are you guys researching? What's your, what's 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 your line of research right now? We're doing Charles Darwin. Well, we're doing the we're doing this, this poem. This poem and how it influenced Darwin and Charles Newton. Darwin, finding out what he did. What else did he do? Uh, but really, right now we're looking into the people this poem influenced. And how that changed the world. And so he realized, uh, so then he got all of his information from like Fox News and stuff, and then he realized that um, there wasn't an all knowing source of information from just one area. So he began to educate himself, and he was changing himself more than the government at that point. And then he ended up running for national delegate. Yeah. So, what are you guys on to? What's going on? Um, the preamble of the Constitution is. Is, is, is poetry because I don't know it's an iambic something pentameter yep and that influenced American history because it introduced the Declaration of Independence so yeah. no you should be that's Anyone was functioning at 100%. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's slanted. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
2011. Give me a second. Blarg, 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 blarg. Blarg, No, I don't want theater in the arts. I now Stealing is okay, remember. Borrowing great ideas. I do, they're in that little uh, container of the pins and things. Excuse me. We're lazy. Mr. Mason, is it okay if not all the clips we put on our poster is... No. You can just report and give us the highlights. Lazy genius. Yeah, we screwed up. We were trying to draw a leaf, but it looked like a pepper. So then we covered it up with paper. <laughs> I won't tell. Alright guys, we learned to write down all the information about the poem inspired him to his theories the internet is What? Led to most of his discoveries. Poem led to Poem led to his theories of natural selection and what was that one? Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. It sounds like a very And it begins as uh, the speaker is a 
young boy, and how he wanted to change the how he wanted to change the world. And as he grew older and matured, he realized uh, that you can only change the world by starting with yourself. The last line reads. Now as an old man, I realize that the only thing I can change is myself. And suddenly I realized that long ago, if I had changed myself, I could have made an impact on my family. My family and I could have made an impact on our town. The impact could have changed the nation, and I indeed could have changed the world. I realized instead of trying to change the entire government system as it is, he um, would run for national delegate. So he did, and he made it, and he decided that that was the impact that he was going to make. And he decided on doing that because he read um, something on a blog site called Dr. Paul, and it happened to be that one. Do you have a timeline? Katy Perry. No, that, no, that was Alex's idea. I was, what? I was forced it into was, it. I no, you weren't. <laughs> you, I said not to do it because it, it's. You're trying to figure something know. out. You're also. Also, in a way, the poetry changed his life. And the declaration has literally changed my life because they have changed the way I look at and listen to the world, and that like shows how. Yes, influential poems can be and how they can influence people. Yeah. And um, as it was already said, Newton and Darwin were inspired by. Oh, um, um, first off, he wrote the first poem of democracy, which is like a type of government. And then he also gave important views on um, same gender relationships, slavery, and. Okay, so Pierce the Veil changes lives, changes history, because why? Because they, uh, a lot of people like don't self-harm or uh, think about suicide anymore. Nice job. Very fancy. did create what is known as the teenage demographic. Before this, teenagers were just referred to as either many adults or kids. Shame on them. But this actually created the idea.